Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another video. This time is with the Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Demo Goblin. So, let's get started. This is from the newest Spider-Man wave, where the Build-A-Figure is the Demo Goblin, and so we're going to get started. Um, I do not have his other accessory here. It'll be here in the video later on, but just in case you're wondering, I just want to do him standing up so we can get a start on what we have going on. If you have any other previous uh, Goblin of some sort, you kind of already know what you're getting into body-wise. If not, we'll go over that as well. So, let's get started. Um... I really like Demo Goblin. I like any of the Spider-Man rogues. They tend to, as of late, make a huge and relevant comeback, as well as just overall be really cool when it comes to Spider-Man and Spider-Man related stuff. So Demo Goblin is no slouch in itself. One of the goblins that Spider-Man fights, um, as well as Venom, and it's just a really good time. Especially now that Maximum Carnage is, uh, sorry, not Maximum, Absolute Carnage has just finished wrapping up. We now have technically a new Demo Goblin, or Demo Goblin. So yeah, anyway, let's jump into the video. As far as the look on the face, I absolutely love the way this was sculpted. It looks absolutely terrifying and fantastic all at once. Now, if you've gotten the previous Hobgoblin, and you can see the previous sculpt here, you know that they've went out and just outdid themselves for the newer one. It looks absolutely crazy, just crazy. But yeah, this is a dope figure, especially, like I said, if you enjoy Spider-Man stuff. Now, as far as the head articulation goes, the head can tilt left and right, it can go backwards, and it can go forwards. Because it sits on this hood and the sculpt is in there, it's really, really in there. For those of you that are going to make your own uh, cloth one, I kind of like this plastic one. I'm not even going to lie. Even the hood, I'm normally against these, but the way it sits in a kind of semi-permanent flighter, flighter one d does help uh, balance the figure out. But more importantly, it keeps out of the way of the articulation, which is pretty nice. It only hinders the head articulation, and uh, that's something I'm okay with if he's going to be on the glider. If not, then I can totally see why. Now, as far as arm articulation goes, the arm <clears throat> actually seems to be a little bit limited because of the sculpt. So you got to really dig in there as you can rotate it up. There's bicep swivel, as usual, with all Marvel Legends. The arms are double jointed. You can actually rotate the uh, gauntlets. They're pretty tight. And the wrists rotate as well, as well as going up and down. So, there's that. And like I said, you have to also be careful here. So, what I'm going to do is, mine's actually pretty tight. So, let's try to rotate it. There it is. See how it rotates in? But because of the builder figure, it can snap out. So, you just got to be careful. See how it popped out? So, when you're raising your articulation, I definitely recommend you heat it up as my joint comes out a little bit. But yeah. As far as the ab articulation goes, this wrap doesn't really get in the way. He doesn't really bend as far forward as I would like. I want to make sure I'm not breaking them. So there you go. See, doesn't bend as far forward as I would like. But backwards doesn't seem to be too much of an issue as it protrudes out a little bit. So he can uh, show you his booty do. Yep. See? But <laughs> but as we tease about that, it's just one of the things where it just doesn't have the app crunch. Now, as far as legs going forward, they go up pretty high going forward. Going backwards is not hindered by the butt cheeks because he actually has smaller ones. So you get a little bit of angle going backwards as well. You have that thigh swivel that rotates. You have a boot cut that rotates, and you have the generous Marvel Legends ankle pivot. Now, glider poses are actually pretty easy to get on this guy as he can tuck his legs in a little bit more and feet go a little bit further to just really get that tucking pose. Now, I really wish he did have that ab crunch because that would definitely add to his reign of terror in terms of being on that glider, which would be really, really dope. So we can't get that here. But yeah, now to bring out that glider that he comes with. If you collect all the figures, you will have the build a figure glider. And this actually is pretty nice because it comes in a little stand as well, too. So it gets a little stand, which is pretty nice. And then you actually get this really nice on fire glider. Now, the glider also works with the red goblin. In case you collect the red goblin and wondering how come he didn't come with a glider, you can use it for that as well, too. So you're going to slide these feet right in. And then we're going to just get our poses on. So like I said, if you definitely plan on getting this, it will look fantastic posed up and gliding. Then you can just put them right on the stand. And we're going to test out that balance right now, actually. So yeah, it holds up pretty well. Balance-wise, it's pretty good. Holds up pretty well with Demo Goblin on it. And to me, it looks fantastic. If you want to give it a wash, I think that's totally fine. But 
those of you who feel like you were kind of ripped off on a builder figure, I don't think that's true. I think you actually got a fantastic builder figure, especially if you like Spider Man and Spider Man related stuff, because there's always going to be a new Spider Man wave. I think that this was long overdue and it's really, really nice. Now, one thing I do want to do and show you is that if you have Red Goblin, I got to finish uh, unwarping that knee. I hate how that uh, bends out. So, here we go with the Red Goblin. And again, like I said, if you've gotten him and you felt like you were gypped because you didn't get that uh, that glider, this should not be an issue for you, as now you can do it for a Red Goblin. Looks fantastic as well, too. So here we go. Dope. Now to do some size comparison with some previous goblins, including Red Goblin, and some Spider-Man guys, so we guys, we can all see what we're getting into. All right? So let's stand this guy straight up. Do, 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 do. So I think this actually uh, kind of makes up for Red Goblin kind of missing his glider. Because if you buy, I believe, White Rabbit, you will get a glider. You can get it to go with your Red Goblin. So yeah, it sucks that you have to pay another 20 bucks for another figure. But it's cool, you know, as a long-standing fan. I'm just glad it's actually come. So here's Demo Goblin next to Red Goblin. Red Goblin's tail kind of keeps him from leaning forward. Whereas Demo Goblin's cape keep him leaning back. So kind of a, a balance issue, I guess. So those guys actually look pretty good. Are all Demon Crew. Here he is with Hobgoblin 2, the builder figure previously. The previous Hobgoblin builder figure, I should say. Here he is next to a Hobgoblin with a custom cloak by CJ. And then here is the Green Goblin himself, the one that started it all. Norman, the Wave Master Osborne. How does he get his hair to do that? So yeah. Oop. Let's actually fix you up. So yeah. Goblin-wise, I think I'm covered. I have a lot of goblins. I don't have them all, but definitely have a lot of cool goblins that kind of show off. What we're getting here, Demon Goblin is a nice new one added. So now we're going to compare it to some other stuff and some other Spider-Man related stuff. So let's get to that. Here he is next to a Superior Oc. It's a little bit bigger than him. Here he is next to a Mafex Spider-Man. Seems to be the topic as of late. This is a Spider-Man related thing. Here he is with a Marvel Legends Spider-Man, the Ben Riley one. Scarlet Spider 2. Is what has been dubbed. Then we have a Gamerverse Spider-Man. In case you wanted to be a DLC character for your Spider-Man. Then we have Miles Morales. The Marvel Legends. If you have the Mafex Spider-Man, you know what you're getting into for the Miles one as well, size-wise. So voila. In case he wants to fight various spiders, there you go. Right? Here he is next to an SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Cougar. For when you want to get crossover hungry like myself. Here he is next to a Lightning Collection Black Ranger. An Articulated Icons Ninja. And then we have a Mezco Punisher. It's, it's always a reason for Punisher to be tied to something street level. Even demonic at this point. Last but not least, we're going to go with a Mythic Legions Barbarian. Over at the tail end. And voila. I think we've captured all the sizes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope, as always, you found it informative. And most of all, hope you guys do good, be good, drink your water, guys. Later.